Hi everybody. My name is Norm Kennedy and I'm going to be with you as we go through Office 365 administration. Just to give you a little bit of my background, I spent about 22 years working in the IT industry before I transitioned into teaching and I am now a Microsoft certified trainer. I tend to specialize in the cloud arena working with Office 365 and Azure. As we go through the Office 365 administration class, the first thing we'll do is start with an overview give you a good understanding of everything that, that exists in the 365 environment and what's available for you to use. We'll then dive into looking at users and groups. With users and groups, we'll talk a little bit about, about creating and managing those users in different ways. After that, we'll look at roles and password management so you can have other people doing different administrative functions within your organization. We'll look at Azure Rights Management, which will give you the ability to control the flow of information within your organization as well as deploying the Office 365 Pro Plus client, where we'll investigate pushing out the Office Suite, both on a user-driven deployment model as well as an IT-driven deployment model. We then dive into custom domains, where we get the ability to add in vanity domains or our own domains to the Office 365 environment so our users can actually authenticate using yourcompanyname.com. After that, we're going to dive into hybrid Active Directory, where we'll, we'll actually synchronize our on-premises Active Directory environment with the cloud Azure AD, giving us the ability to have that one, one source control, that one place for managing our users. Beyond that, we dive into Exchange Administration, where you have the ability to, to control how your organization uses and, and, and monitors and manages Exchange. We'll look at SharePoint Online and the ability to create site collections for your users and control how they share or don't share things. We'll dive into Skype for Business where you'll get the opportunity at the organizational level to control how your users can, can interact not only with people inside your organization but with people outside your organization as well. And then finally we'll dive into monitoring and troubleshooting so you can go through and look at some reports and, and, and try to analyze any issues you may be having. Alright, so let's get started.